Welcome back to the 5K, ladies and gentlemen. It's Grand Finals. Optic Gaming versus TR and Optic Atua. What, but what a search and destroy that was. Like, Oh, yeah, that was one of the Woo! better search and destroys. Nature gets a world star, and then the guy he world stars at round 11 almost goes clutch. That would have been. The one before. Oh, imagine he gets that one before. Man, that would've yeah, been if he would have gotten that one before. That would have been that would have been pretty crazy. I think me and you were both on the edge of our seat, the ready problem to was, kind of broadcast the bug, so we couldn't exactly see what was going on. And then all of a sudden, we're looking to kill feet, two kills, three kills, and that's a one on one. Woo, it would have been that would have been great. Oh, it would have been silly. But wow. I mean, right now we have retreat CTF, uh, one of the you know favorite game modes of myself. I love this map for CTF. I think it plays very well. You see Scump, he's actually going to pick up two kills right there on the rotation, and it looks like Krim. There's a cap already. Yeah, as long as that one Whoa. player gets that kill on the far uh, left of the map, he's going to have a cap. But he's actually going to wait, and he knows that there's a player above him. Oh, no. And he's going to get that kill right there. He's well, going to get this down. He's going to get a cap. Uh, it's important that Optic sets a pretty good score on this side, as this is the more favorable side on this map. Yeah, we both agreed if Optic win that SMD, we're, we're looking at a 3 0. I just can't see TR outslaying or outplaying Optic in a respawn. As, don't get me wrong, as well as they've done, and they have done extremely well. You know, they beat teams like Denial, for example, but and Optic Nation, for that matter. But, I don't know. Something about this Optic Gaming team, they're just so strong and, and so dominant that I really expect them to pick this up. And even if it isn't a 3-0, I can't see it going to 3-2. Oh, no. I, 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 think, I think it ends here. I think if you're Optic and, you know, in between those maps, you kind of need to stress yourself, like, Look, we can't give any maps away. Like, we need to put it away here. There's no reason to let it go any further than this. Right. <clears throat> Just put that final nail in the coffin. But Nagafen doing a great job of holding that flag. Meanwhile, the other side, we've got Ring Around the Rosie. Hazard does come down. Nate Shot keeps the flag alive. So, back over to Nagafen with the flag. He's not actually going to be pushed by anyone from Optic Gaming yet. But, as you mentioned, you know, Optic are on the good side. So, realistically, this kind of stalemate scenario is pretty good. For TR, you know, if they can just try and hold it out for as long as possible, which unfortunately they're not going to be able to. Nature still has that flag. <laughs> Who has it now for TR? No one. Um, one player's going to try and get that return. Are they going to get it? It's going to be formal. He yeah. connects now. Can Nature get that cap? That is now the only real question. Ooh, there's one player hiding from TR oh. all the way in the back, and they're actually going to get two players down. Right there, Krim's got to go big, and looks like they are able to get this back, it looks like, Ben. Yep, that's going to be the return. So now formal needs to stay alive here. He needs to get this kill on Remy. Taking his time. Line it up that headshot, but Remy's going to see him, and now Formal has to look to his right-hand side because there's going to be two players over there. Formal now in a horrible situation. Yeah. He's going to get challenged, and Formal is going to go down, but Nate Shot comes a flying around the side. He gets the return. Has the enemy flag as well. Nate Shot for the kill. Gets the assist instead, and now pushes down this left-hand side lane. Basically, this just comes down to whether Formal can win these gunfights on players pushing the optic flag. There's one. One more down below. That's going to be two. No, it's not, but it doesn't matter. The flag's already in. Yeah, I mean, just a 2-0 lead right here. If they can get another flag, Ben, in this last, you know, two minutes, I think that can really, you know, I, I don't want to say end the game, but I think it can really just put it to where it, it's very comfortable for them to win. Yeah, you have to think about confidence, too, and momentum going into this, because in all honesty, they I feel kind of sorry for TR, because that first hard point was kind of close for a while, and then all of a sudden they made that risky play, like you pointed out, on the rotation, and they lost it. The SMD. When someone gets world starred and then almost clutches a 1v4, heads go down, man. Right. They do. So going into this, I'm, I'm really looking into... Yeah, I mean, if they can get a flag on this side and only go down by one, I mean, that's a pretty big thing. But there's a player on top of their own wall. That's Krim. He is just going to stall this player right there. And he's actually going to take him out with a nade. The two players go down for TR. Looks like Optic's going to be able to return this flag. And it is going to be returned. So, you know, just smart place from Optic Gaming. You know, TR can't really get anything going on this side of the map. Yeah, 58 seconds left. Like you said, I would really like to see a 3-0 lead here as opposed to just a 2. 2 is, is good, but it's nothing which is kind of crazy. You know, you right. can definitely see TR potentially on the good side pulling two flags and capping two flags as well. So, we'll see if Nagafen can try and escape. Ooh, nearly gets away. Not going to happen though. Steven left last up, and he actually has that flag. Now, can he try and make some moves. There's a kill. That's a big kill as well. Now running down towards that pool side. Unfortunately, Formal is there. Yeah, and you know, Formal and Krim going to shut that down. I think we said that often, especially during Columbus. I thought Formal and Krim both played extremely well at times. Oh, uh, they did. 
you know, they are, I think Prim played great the entire weekend. Yeah, I mean, we saw some crazy plays out of Formal as well. I, I think that comeback uplink game comes to mind. Oh, he went on that Lord, seven spree and right Jesus there. Formal. I mean, Matt Piper is uh, pretty good at video games. He, yeah, he's, he's, you know, he's okay. He's okay at video games. I think it's Some would say he's quite talented at video games. He has good thumbs. So I heard. Good thumbs, man. Yep. Runs in the family. Uh, I don't know if that's true. That is true. Yeah. I have no idea, <laughs> but it is true now. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> well, OG 2-0 of the half. Of course, they win this. That is GG. They become 5K champions, and then we get to announce who is the winner wins of the, the ultimate yeah. mega bundle. Right. So. Uh, how are we going to do that? It's going to go... We're going to go to commercial break. Commercial. Yeah. And then we're going to troll through millions of tweets. Are we gonna You're going to pick one. Well, no. I'm going to use a website to pick one. Oh, really? Oh, I'm... <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not going to go through them all manually. That'll be crazy. Oh, uh, so yeah. But I have, to, I have to make sure that when I do see the tweet that it wasn't tweeted after, I think you said 10.30... No, sorry. 11.38? Yeah. I think it was 11.30. It was, it, was, it was something along there. Uh, I can ask Will. I know he took note of it, so... That's all I need to do. And then okay. someone walks away with a hoodie. Yeah, this is why, this is why though, you needed to set a higher score on the other side. You see that uh, Nagafan already already has a cap if he can just keep going, and he's going to get one in. So only down one. First 30 seconds of the game, pretty good. <laughs> Formal just gave I don't know how that player just died. Cover yeah, I don't know. Right. Yeah, Formal just killed everybody. That was, that was crazy. Flag is away from base. 10 seconds before reset. Krim's going to pick that one up and try and get some... Yards on it. Not gonna have any overclock left, but Krim may actually be able to cap this. He's gone up top two. Sneaky little play coming in from Krim six. Oh, he gets hit by the stun, but he slowly it. walks it in. So back to a two point lead as Stumpy just melts through Hazard on that pool side. Four minutes left, Steven running the flag again though via pool, and again, looks like he's gonna be able to cap this. Yeah, but you know, they couldn't have given out that one cap. That one cap may end up you know, really Fine. coming to hurt them later. And you see oh. two players from Optic Gaming, they're gonna try and get this flag back, but it looks like Samurai Remy is just going to put that right in. So, still only down one. Uh, obviously, they don't give up that cap. This would be a tie, tie game. game. It looked pretty good in their favor, but still down one. Uh oh. Kerm's on a little run with the flag. He's going to turn around, but not pick up that kill on Remy. And uh, Remy actually got that return, too. So, nice fight coming in from him. However, Optic Gaming once again being aggressive. However, on the other side of the map, Steven. I'm oh, sorry, Nagafan, I lie. Trying to be sneaky, make some plays. As now things kind of settling down somewhat. See Crim6 pushing that left hand side. Four players down momentarily. There's Nagafen fresh off spawn. 14 and 16. Look at the slaying column right now. Formal is 23 kills. Crim has 19. Scump has 18. The highest on the other team is 15 yeah. kills. Yeah, no, they're just getting out of Slade right now. It's uh it's actually really it's, it's really kind of impressive that they're keeping it that close with getting out of Slade. Uh, they are playing well as a team. They just need to pick up those extra kills and the smaller plays, you know, the not giving up that one flag cap to uh, Krim before. I mean, that was huge, I thought. Yep, <clears throat> that, that was the, the big play that you need to keep on. All well, those kind of big plays, you know, they may only be small at times, but honestly, so crucial in the grand scheme of things. Everyone down, Formal looking at that flag. He still has eight seconds left before it is going to reset. He's going to be able to pick that up. And I think have done so well to keep that flag alive poolside, considering, you know, TR was pointing pretty much on it, and Formal's going to be pushing. Picking up kills and Optic could actually get this cap. Yeah, I mean, he's got teammates in front of him. They just need to go back and circle to their base. He's going to have one player in the cut, and there's another player to his this. right. They're going to get that. To they're going to get this, and they're going to go out with two minutes to go by two flags. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty sizable margin right there. It looks like he's going to throw out some stunts on pool side, and uh, they're just going to try and play some defense. Yeah, TR need a big, big clutch right now, and they're pushing that flag. Formal last line of defense. He is going to get shut down. Now it's Nate Shot. Nate Shot trying to get that kill. He managed to pick up the flag carrier once, but Samurai Remy is going to win that gunfight, and he is pretty much away. Off to game, you see those blue arrows desperately trying to scamper towards Remy, and Remy getting shot in the back. Is he going to stay alive? Just no idea how he's done that. But with 1 minute 26 seconds left, he is going to be able to... No, he's not! No, he's going to be stopped right at the Never goal. Never mind. Nagafen not going to be able to get it. Is that uh, return? Yeah. That yeah. Was, that was clutch play. From yeah, right, right there. Right uh, I would kind of say that's the game. No, the minute 12 left. Not they able to put that cap. cap in. They needed that to even give them a chance. But, I mean, just great plays out of Optic. Always going clutch. That's one thing you notice from this team, that they're always making those plays and getting those kills when you need to. Yeah. Such a difference it's made, I feel, you know, with the old roster and then the new roster. Don't get me wrong, you know, proof and play, fantastic players. 
But just the clutch factor that I think Krim provides is is massive, and you see that time and time again, even include formal, but 4-3, 40 seconds left, so... No, yeah. I mean, they still have a chance. At ooh, least tie ooh. it. Oh, okay, has it... This is key for me. Has it needs to pick up maybe one or two kills. Uh, his teammates all went down. Oh, yeah, he's dead. So, Steven, where is he? Not in a position to get a cap. 29 seconds left. Up to gaming. Just need to hold on. Basically going to come down to this one player. Remy as all of his teammates die. He's down as well. Yeah. And that pretty much seals the deal. Optic Gaming pick up the victory and the 5K championship. That's going to be 5,000 pro points to all those players. And what a huge amount that is. And congratulations if you predicted Optic Gaming to yeah. walk away as 5K champions. Congratulations. That means you're in a good position. You're an entrant into the... Into the, the thousands of entrants that we actually a have. A mega giveaway, yeah. It's, 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 it's thousands it's, of other people have picked up the game. Yes, it's a huge, huge giveaway. Of course, the t-shirt, the hoodie, the controller, and the cap. So yep. Four things you guys can walk away with. But again, congratulations to the Gaming. Fantastic slaying being done. Formal 34 kills. Skump dropping 30 as well. Those guys looking so dominant. And no real surprise for them to... to pick up the, the 5k, you know, going into oh. it, they look very good. Of course, both Nate and Krim flying back from Vegas. So, you know, they were at yeah. the Game Awards. And again, we, we said it earlier on, but congratulations to Nate Chop winning eSports Player of the Year. Fantastic achievement for him. Right, it's huge. It's, it's, it's massive. It, it really is. But you think about some of the teams this TR team beat. Oh, I was, yeah. Like, a big list of some, yeah. some strong, heavy names. I mean, I would even say congrats to TR. Right? Oh, I mean, you guys, without a shut you up guys crushed Second place? it today. Second place? I mean... Obviously, very talented team, but just look at the road that they had through the entire day. Right. I, and, I mean, you play in a tournament like this, and you have to play against good teams one after another. It's pretty grueling. Uh, you have in the finals. I mean, they're, they're, they're one or two mistakes on CTF, and then, you know, that one round on the S&D from right. being up 2-1, kind of. So, uh, I think, you know, very good plays from them the entire day. Uh, yeah, just a great Great 5K in general, I think, yeah, today awesome, was awesome. Awesome 5K, had a lot of fun casting it. But for now, commercial break. When we return, we'll have the winner of the MLG Cat Package.